Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorite. Today I get to share with you the brand new Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly Planner. This planner has become really popular and is used for numerous purposes across the board. I have used a Deluxe Monthly for my spin tracking, kind of my version of a budget planner for the past two years. So let's jump into their brand new one and let me tell you all the details about what's changed this year. Really quick summary for those that don't know what the Deluxe Monthly is. It is just monthly views with some monthly planning pages, then combining with a whole lot of empty pages lined. And you can also add this year dot grid or productivity pages at the back. So I would say to summarize it, it's like combining a monthly planner with a notebook. And that's what the Deluxe Monthly is from Erin Condren. I was sent this from Erin Condren. My rep that I work with, Samantha Kerr, thank you so much. I love the cover that they picked from me. This, I mean, would you call it Art Deco? I don't know, but I love it. And I have the rose gold rings, which is an option to change your rings from the silver coloring is always a $10 upgrade. So to get gold, rose gold, or black is a $10 upgrade. Silver comes standard. If you're new to Erin Condren and don't know, all her covers snap on and snap off and are interchangeable. So whatever cover you pick, you can always change that out. You can write on her dashboards with wet erase markers or Sharpie markers. Sharpie markers can be removed with nail polish remover or rubbing alcohol. You have your nameplate page to start out with. The base price on this planner this year is $40. And that's if you get a non-metallic cover like this one with no metallic on the cover. If you get a cover with metallic on it, it's $45. This planner also comes in an eight and a half by 11 size, which is just an awesome option for those that need a really big monthly views and just, you know, notebook paper in there. That is only $5 more to upgrade to the eight and a half by 11 size. This is their seven by nine size, which is also the size of the life planner. You have your nameplate page in the front. All the Erin Condren planners are made in the USA. The paper is milled in the USA and they are hand coiled. You can watch videos about that on her website. And I absolutely love to, to support companies that are made in the USA. This is the colorful version of the Deluxe Monthly. They're both beautiful and I have videos running through the colorful and neutral life planners and all the choices on those this year. And I will link those videos down in the description in case you're interested. You have some encouraging quotes and these kaleidoscope pages are just beautiful. Her pattern design for this year for the 2020 or 2019, 2020 year is kaleidoscope. Your first page right here is a tabbed page. All the tabbed pages are thicker, are cardstock like pages. Then you have your year at a glance. This planner can be made to start in any month starting in July of 2019. So you get to choose your start month, which is awesome. They have made it so customizable. This planner that I was sent starts in January, which is great because the deluxe monthly that I'm using for my budget planning, spin tracking, is actually a calendar year. So that actually worked out perfect for me. You can start this in July. You can start it in August. You can start it in September. You pick the start month anywhere starting July 2019 through December 2020. This planner though only comes in a 12 month version. So her life planner you can get in an 18 month version. The life planner is the one where you have weekly views and there are three choices of weekly views in those. And that's the video I will link down below with all that information. If you're new to Erin Condren or haven't seen her planners this year and you wanna see those, then you go right into you 12 months at a glance. And this is the same that you have in your life planner. I love that these can be used for so many purposes. In my life planner, I use mine to list major bills that are only due one to four times a year, such as car insurance, life insurance, Audible, Amazon Prime, all those types of things. And I also list well checks on here and doctor and dentist appointments just so I can make sure, you know, we've gone to the dentist twice that year or we've had our well checks type of thing. On the bills that I list on here, it's not because I need to pay most of those. They're all on auto pay because some people have asked me about that. It's just because it kind of alerts me that like, oh, that big amount is being taken out at this time. Going right into your planner, you just have a lined page right here on the back of your 12 boxes and you go into January. Your tabbed pages this year do not open straight to your month. 
So they're giving you the same pages that you have in your life planner for this part of it. Your tabbed page opens and in the colorful version, it is a blank page. In the neutral version, it is a dot grid page here. So the neutral version is a little bit different. There's a couple changes besides the colors. And if you wanna see that, that's laid out down below in my life planner videos showing those new ones this year. This is exactly the same that comes in your life planner. Then you have a January, you have four hexagons for your monthly goals. You have a big birthdays box, which people are repurposing these boxes for all different things. You can use washi tape, stickers, labels, and repurpose this box. Let's say you don't have any birthdays in January of your close friends or family that you need to remember. Or let's say you don't even want to use these boxes to keep track of birthdays because you prefer to do that on your monthly layout and maybe list your birthdays here. You know, everybody has a different system. So if you want to repurpose this box to use it for something else, that's so easy to do. I love how this box was left blank so that it's up to us to choose what to use it for. And then you have a dot grid note section down below here. Take note that whatever color your monthly color is, running throughout the month, these boxes in the colorful are shaded to match that color. And then this box is shaded to match that monthly color also. And like your asterisk every month goes with the monthly color. So after those monthly pages, you have a lined page before every month. Then you have a blank page here on the divider. Then you have kind of your setup of boxes for the month. You wanna use those, your goals and birthdays page. And then you have your monthly layout. On your monthly layout, your holidays are listed at the bottom of each day in just a light gray. Your previous month's days are in a light gray also. Oh, and you're going into your next month day is in a light gray. And then you have a look at your next month, month at a glance right here in the bottom corner, room for notes. And this layout is exactly the same that is in your life planner, the monthly layout. Now here's where it's different. You don't go into weekly spreads then like the life planner. And the deluxe monthly planner, like I mentioned, it's kind of like a notebook planner combo. So you go straight into some lined pages that follow your month. So you have four, five lined pages following every month. One of those though, out of the five lined pages kind of is meant to go the next month because the color changes. But of course you don't have to use it that way. My brain kind of still thinks of this page belonging to the previous month. So I would probably be using that, like I would say I have five lined pages for January and I would probably still be using that for January even though it was pink up here because my mind just kind of thinks February starts on the tab and that kind of goes with the line pages of January. It definitely can be purposed however you need to use it. Then you go into February, you have a quote for every month and it's on the color of the month. Then you go in here and this changes with the color of the month, this shaded box, that shaded box, and this. So you can tell how the, the look of the month changes a little bit every time with the color of the month. And I personally love that. The colors flow with the seasons here in the US and the holidays here in the US. And I like that color change. Then you have your five lined pages and your asterisk here in the hexagon changes with each month's color. And then like I said though, your fifth line page is really meant for the next month, opening up to March. So the color changes and you have a big header there. I love motivational quotes. So I like how you get one for every single month. If you follow me on Instagram, then you definitely know that I love motivational quotes because I post those written in my Hobonichi A6 little planner, just my little quote notebook. And I like to post those a lot. There's a look at March. They tell you everything like little spring forwards, daylight savings times begin, International Women's Day. I personally like all those things to be marked on my calendar because they're not things that I wanna have to look up or think about or personally like write in on my calendar. They take up just a tiny little minute space of room. And even if it's something that I don't celebrate, I would just rather have it on my calendar to know that it's like happening in the world than to not know. That's just me personally. That is the cycle of how your monthly deluxe goes every month. And I will flip through just so you can see the different colors. And I've said this in all my videos, I used to be really against the December being lime green in here because I'm kind of like a traditional colors gal, but all the Erin Condren 
stickers in her monthly sticker book. It's called her monthly collection. And right now it's sold out, I believe, but she'll be coming out with a new one for 2020. And those are all seasonal holiday stickers. And then all her other holiday stickers she sells, they really go well with the lime green and using those stickers, just those few stickers from her, because I'm not a big sticker person at all. I am a functional planner. Just those few stickers from her, it really brings in the lime green and makes it look traditional enough for at least me as a traditional gal to be happy with it. So I, I've, I've made peace with the lime green being in December. Then you get to the end of December. You go straight into a look of this is the whole year of 2021. So if you are planning appointments or vacations or anything ahead of time, here's a whole look at your year. You can underline, highlight, use little transparent stickers to mark those things out. And you have four lines under each month to be able to list those appointments. And then you have a good size note section down here. It just says in the coming year. Your notes tab is a really light charcoal gray and you have another quote then you go into what is so awesome about the deluxe monthly planner from Erin Condren you have a huge note section it comes with 40 notes pages all this paper is the exact paper that is used in the Erin Condren life planner it's 80 pound mohawk paper it performs amazingly well with pen and I will get a plan planner that I've pen tested and show you in just a minute. There is no ghosting, no bleed through. It can even take fountain pen. Her paper smells amazing. It has a little bit of tooth to it, which just means it takes the pen well. I love her paper. It's white, crisp, and it's beautiful. It comes with 40 notes pages in your monthly deluxe planner. Here's something else that's cool about it. You can choose to add more pages. I don't know the price on that yet because that didn't come in my email. You can add dot grid or productivity pages at the back here. So you can add more pages for it's a very nominal fee. I don't know if they're gonna have a choice of adding just more lined if you don't want dot grid or productivity. My email didn't say that either, so I'm not sure. These pages are also perforated, which is kind of genius, I think, because in a notebook slash planner, let's say you want to tear some of the pages out. They are all perforated, your notes pages back here. Then you have one sheet of stickers. No, this planner comes with two sheets of stickers. All right, so it's like your label stickers right here. I definitely always use these on my monthly layouts and my weekly layouts in my Erin Condren Life Planner. I use the vertical colorful and I use these and I love these label stickers. So I'm glad it's come with the new colors for this year and you get two pages of those label stickers. And all those colors coordinate and look great with her monthly colors. Then you have a pocket in her new kaleidoscope and you have, they've changed the backside. Used to be a really small pocket you couldn't fit a lot in. Now they have made it a full tall pocket like the front. I love that change. And there is metallic gold on this pocket, but only on the front. They stuck on a little Erin Condren pen holder for me, which I love that they just stuck this on in here for me because I don't stick these in my planners a lot just because I use my planners a lot at home. So I have pens all around and sometimes I'll stick a pen in my coil. I love they gave me a new dual tip marker. I love the Erin Condren dual tip markers. I've talked about them on Instagram so much and I've had them in YouTube videos. One end is a broader tip like a true marker. And then the other end is a fine tip, which is really good for writing. And I use them in my planning. I will put my latest planning updates video down below so you can see how I plan. If you're interested in that, I give quarterly updates on my updates playlist. And of course, I always update on Instagram constantly of what I'm planning in and you know, what I'm interested in at the time and how my planning's going. So if you're interested, join me there on Instagram. I love the Erin Condren dual tip markers. They come in all different, vibrant, beautiful colors. You can also buy her pen holders, which have a pretty thin profile, as you can tell, and come in clear so that you can barely even tell there is one on your book and you can slip your dual tip marker in there because the dual tips, you can't slip on the coil like I do many of my other pens because their little clip there just, it isn't quite big enough to clip on the coil like I do with pens a lot. So if you wanna carry a dual tip marker with you or a pen that doesn't clip on the coil well, you definitely want to pick up a pen holder. I am gonna show you my pen test page, but first I wanted to bring in, this is a full 12 month life planner. This just happens to be the vertical I'm sorry, horizontal, colorful. And the video reviews of these are linked below. But I wanted to show you because people will ask, I know, and be curious about the coil size of the Erin Condren monthly or deluxe monthly compared with the Life Planner. To me, the coils look pretty much the same size. 
the deluxe monthly is smaller in scope unless you add those extra pages. Now, if you add those extra pages, it could definitely be as big as a 12 month life planner. There are 230 pages total in this life in this deluxe monthly and 40 of those are notes pages. Now that is a little increase from last year because last year we didn't have all those extra monthly pages with like the birthdays and the extra like dashboard monthly pages. So last year they told me there was 194 pages and now we have 230. And that's without any extra pages being added at the back, which is what you can do. You can add those extra productivity or dot grid pages at the back of your deluxe monthly. So that's a comparison of the rings. It looks like the same size of ring to me. So if you're not adding the extra pages in your deluxe monthly, I feel like the ring doesn't need to be that big. Unless you're a huge sticker person and you're gonna be stickering every single page of this or like photo journaling in it, you know, that type of thing, like record keeping, memory keeping, then it could definitely bulk up with all the pictures and stickers type of thing. I don't have my personal life planner up here right now because that's downstairs on my kitchen desk. I just grabbed one from my bookshelves up here. I had been making extra notes in it, kind of like a daily planner one time and just making kind of daily lists, but in a weekly planner. And so this is written all over with pen right here. And I'm gonna show you how it looks on the opposite page. There is absolutely no bleed through nothing showing through there. Um, I have tested fountain pens before. Fountain pens do not even bleed through. There is a, you can kind of barely see with a fountain pen. All right, just because I know some people will want to see this. Here is your fountain pen. It's in a blank square on the side so that you can see. You might be able to see through a tiny bit of that fountain pen written there, but not anything significant to me and definitely no bleed through. So the Erin Condren 80 pound paper can take pretty much anything you wanna put on it. If you're comparing it to GSM paperweight, 80 pound equates to about 120 GSM paperweight. If you're comparing it, some companies list their paperweight in pound weight and some list in GSM. So here's her dual tip marker. That was the thick end and this is the thin end of the dual tip marker, just so you can see how nice and vibrant it looks on her paper. Of course, this really isn't the color that goes with the May peach color so well. You can tell that's right behind the fountain pen and you can't see anything from that. Trust me, you will not be disappointed in the Erin Condren paper. So that is the brand new Erin Condren Deluxe Monthly. This planner is such a little powerhouse. I feel like if you are someone who doesn't need all those weekly spreads in your life, you're not that busy, you don't have that much to write down, this planner makes a great planner for you with just, you can organize your month, your monthly list, even memory keeping for the month. You can have your whole month laid out with your appointments, and then you have several pages for each month to make task lists or keep track of stuff, and yet you don't have all those weekly views if you're not someone who doesn't need Need those. This planner is also used for budgeting all the time. Like I mentioned how I use it for spend tracking. I will actually list my videos down below where I show you my system for that, which is not the typical budgeting system. Mine's really not budgeting. Mine was really spend tracking. Jen plans uses her deluxe monthly and has for years. She's a big budget gal. I've also seen people use the deluxe monthly for food and fitness tracking. I've seen them use it for a second planner. Like let's say they have like kind of a church job on the side or they're like the PTA president and they want to not kind of mix all that stuff in with their normal life planner. So they want a second planner for maybe for your side hustle or for a part-time job, but it could also be for a volunteer like Girl Scouts or PTA or church type of thing. And you want to keep all that separate, but you don't need all those weekly views. You just need something to plan out like the monthly views for those kind of activities and take notes for that month at the meetings and plan out certain things for that month at the meetings. I think this deluxe monthly makes the perfect planner for that type of thing when you need a second planner for something like that in your life. Thanks for watching. Let me know down below in the comments if you use the deluxe monthly. I would love to know what you use it for because I'm always trying to remember all these great ideas that people have so I can share them. So let me know down below if you've used the Deluxe Monthly and how you've used it, what you've used it for in your life. And if you have any questions, leave those down below too. Thanks for watching. Happy planning and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.